Thanks, ladies. As you mentioned, Sam Bankman Fried, founder of the now collapsed cryptocurrency exchange FTX, has arrived in New York after being extradited from the Bahamas. The charges against him include wire fraud, wire fraud conspiracy, and conspiracy to commit money laundering. Each carry a maximum prison sentence of 20 years. So far, he's denied the allegations against him, but complicating his case is that his two closest associates have already pled guilty to fraud charges. We're talking Gary Wang, a co-founder of FTX, and Caroline Ellison, who not only managed Bankman Fried's hedge fund company, but is also his ex. Both are said to be cooperating with federal prosecutors. Something tells me this isn't going to end well for him. In other news today, the billionaire owner of the New York Knicks, the New York Rangers, Madison Square Garden, and many more companies, James Dolan, is apparently using facial recognition technology to keep perceived enemies out of his venues. Specifically, he has a ban against anyone working for law firms that have suits against any of his holdings. A lawyer chaperoning her daughter's Girl Scout troop recently got booted from the Radio City Music Hall's Christmas Spectacular. And another attorney has claimed he was kicked out of a Knicks game. Between the privacy violations and the pettiness, here's hoping Dolan gets visited by three ghosts. And the Australian Federal Police have taken into custody someone they've dubbed Asia's El Chapo. Sachilop is a 59-year-old Canadian citizen who's alleged to head up one of the world's biggest multi-billion dollar drug syndicates. It's also alleged that he's responsible for up to 70% of all drugs that come into Australia alone. He was arrested last year at an airport in the Netherlands, and after a long extradition battle, he is now looking at a possible life sentence in Australia. That's your first look at the news. Don't go away.